Welcome back to uh, Minoria. Second time I'm playing this game. Uh, it's weird to me that it doesn't show a timestamp next to our name. That oh, there we go. Okay. Weird. For a moment, I thought I lost my save data. Anyway, so last time we beat a bunch of stuff, uh, beat up a plant, and then got thrown into a cellar, <laughs> amongst other things. So. And now I wanna I wanna rescue this little fox girl? Squirrel girl? Actually wait, what kind of ears does she have? Um maybe she's a fox, I don't know. Well, skunk up. But anywho. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Cell unlocked. Oh! Oh that's nice. I I was expecting to have to go back here way later. Oh, okay. I wonder if this will come back and bite me. Hi. Considering trusting the other lady didn't work out so well for us. Oh no, she's adorable. Thank you so much for rescuing me. My name is Camphor. I am Sister Anna Fran, and this is my sister Samilla, members of the Inquisition. <laughs> Excuse me. Pray tell, where are we? Some sort of prison, but I'm not sure where exactly. I've been locked down here for days. A woman, Rika, I think, she imprisoned me and my family. She was planning to sell us as slaves. That's horrible. I haven't seen anyone else since I was brought here, and all I have in my possession is a key I found in this hole. A key? What do you think? It could be of use to us. Can we see the key you speak of? Sure. Here it is. Mercy Cellar Basement 54. It's a small inscription. Mercy Cellar B5F. Maybe you will work in one of the locks here? I think it's worth taking a look around. Be careful. Fricka's band of thieves is still wandering this area. And thank you two again for saving me. I'm indebted to you. I suppose I should get going as well. Stay safe, Ken Far. She's very cute. Why is everything rumbling? Alright. Ooh, hello. Ash and incense. Ash and incense. Releases a stream of energy. Um, let, me, let me look at that. I want to see it. Cool. Oh, that's nice. That looks like it will hit multiple enemies. I guess I'll, I'll take that instead of the storm for a little bit. It's fun to mix it up with these things anyway. So it's um, <laughs> it's Sunday. So I hope everyone had a good rest day yesterday on Saturday if you did. Or maybe you got outside and, you know, did... Ooh! <laughs> maybe you got outside and walked around and enjoyed some sunlight, or... I don't know. But I hope it was nice, whatever it was. Um, I played... Oh god, what did I do yesterday? I think I played the forest yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did with, uh, with my friend Tyler. And Alex. Um, I think Tyler streamed it. That's uh, Dr. MF Tran is his name on Twitch. So I don't know if he keeps VODs or not, but if he does, then uh, the one from Saturday would be uh, where we played a little bit. But obviously it's his perspective. So. But uh, check him out. Honestly, he's a really nice guy. Um, if you like me, and uh, you know, I guess just people who are generally easygoing and chatty about things and like music, then he's probably a good one to follow. I want to die. Okay. I mean, I could help you with that. I'm not gonna hit them though. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Okay. Why do you all want to die so bad? Can I go in here? No. Okay, so... We reached the dead end. Maybe some. Maybe there's an elevator or something we'll be able to activate. Yeah, no, all good. I'm. We're gonna leave them alone. I don't know if we'll get something if we kill them, but uh, just because we're a member of the Inquisition doesn't mean that we just go around murdering people willy ni willy nilly, right? But yeah. Um, as I was saying, this one final thing. If you like metal music and chatting with people about it and whatnot, then I'd recommend checking out uh, Dr. Chan's group. So. But yeah, we played The Forest yesterday, it was pretty fun. And then this morning, I, uh, I watched two new episodes of anime with my friend, and then we played The Forest for like three hours or so, and it was nice. Um, that particular friend, we we watch a lot of anime together, which is nice. Um, and she's been um, pester isn't the right word, um, but she's been telling me that like she wants to play the forest more because we played it one time or two times before, and then kind of stopped for a couple weeks. Or so and she she likes playing games with people. So I wonder if I can no. But it's good. Um, when her and I play, we get further in the story and exploring, and neither of us... What just happened? Neither of us like being uh, spoiled on things. I guess both of those are good. I do like the invincibility when you heal. That one's pretty nice, but I think being able to... Are, are you an enemy? Yes, you are. Being able to heal and having that saving grace have been pretty helpful for us. So until we find something like really crazy for passives, we'll wait. Um, but I've been enjoying it. I will say though, um, I mentioned this on stream once before. Odd insults. Emits a sound when near secrecy. Oh, that's cool. Well, that one's tempting to put on. Oh boy. We could put it on instead of the Saving Grace one, I guess. It almost feels like we were supposed to. Hold on. Will you pick it up? Does it do anything? No. Um, but yeah, if, if you have interest in playing the forest, and you want to like figure out mechanics and have some things explained to you so you kind of know how some items work. I would recommend not using the wiki and instead maybe trying to find like specifically a spoiler free guide or something like that online for it because the wiki pages that I found at least for the forest are really bad about spoils. Like obnoxiously bad as in like the first paragraph in uh, boy, in the first paragraph in some of the articles is just straight spoilers about the story and stuff that like you would have no idea. So like I already know a pretty crucial plot point, <clears throat> and I'm really not pleased about it. And I've been I've been being good. Shit, my heal didn't come off in time. <clears throat> I've been being good, and you know when I play with people, I don't tell them about the thing that I know, but it really really sucks. Like, here we get the audience sense again. But it really, really sucks because it seems like a major plot point that was spoiled for me by like the first paragraph in one of these things. So, yeah. But um, anywho, so I don't um. There might be another stream of the forest at some point. Maybe when uh, my friends Alex and Ty want to play again. Uh, and have time during the week. It's kind of tricky during the week because um, I think one of the reasons why I played on Friday with them 
was because uh, one of my friends works second shift? Third shift? Second. I think it's second shift, right? Um, but he works like the afternoon till like 12.30. <clears throat> so... He doesn't uh, always have the time for it, so I think the weekend days work better for him as far as that stuff goes. So it's hard to try to plan for any kind of forest stream during the week, or at least not any that involve him, I guess. And I don't really want to play on the file without him. Although, I mean, I guess everyone's story items are separate, but still, spelunking down into caves and seeing secrets for the first time together, or not secrets, but different story items for the first time together, I think that's something to be shared. So if they're, if you're looking at all for more forest at any point, then it will, I would expect it to be either Thursday or Friday based on last week. No guarantees though. Um, I don't have a schedule. I know I used to have a schedule way back in the day, but I haven't had a schedule in a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, let me get a sip of water. Um, used to have a schedule, but that's pretty. Whoa! Oh, like backing up into the fire. Although, no, no, it didn't. Sorry, just got. Oh, no. so probably, I picked up that other entrance again, right? Oh, it is Ash, okay. Oops. Wrong button. Give it down. Ooh, I can't reach this one. Wonder. Nope. Alright, down first. Oh, okay. Probably get up that way. What the fuck is this? Touch Vessel. You've gained the Uppercut Slash ability. Jump again midair to unleash a new melee attack. Oh! Oh shit, that's nice. It, it just straight up replaces the double jump. Cool. Alright, well now we'll be able to get into a lot of the new places, I think. And do so in style. So, um, yeah, I've thought about going back and having a schedule again, like before it was Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 7.30 PM Eastern is what it used to be with like bonus streams mixed around and such. But, um, I mean, I did that for like a year or so and it was fun. Like, don't get me wrong. It was, it was fun, but I don't know. I've, I've been enjoying not having a schedule for a long time, and I think, yeah. Oh, there's a, the item's going off. I guess there's a secret, right? Locked in. It must do it just like while you're in the room. Oh, oh, or it's that, okay. Archive 28. 28. Witches 2. The persecution of witches was officialized through an edict prohibiting any association or use of the Ark Witches, sorceries, or artifacts. Those standing against the sacred office self proclaimed benevolent divine faith were also targeted. Furthermore, the Sacred Office worked extensively to fabricate stories about the witches, hoping to create a social imagery of disgust for them. Naturally, the situation only stirred curiosity in the common man, leading to an increasing, increasing interest in heresy. In truth, the Ark Twitch, by association, her followers share a common goal of living freely in harmony with nature and safekeeping it. Is, um, is this game gonna be... Oh, you shit. Oh, cool, okay. Um, is this game gonna be like the pro-Wiccan type thing? 
Like, is it, is it gonna educate me about Wiccans and teach me that Christianity was like some horrible thing or something? That one I'm about to see. <laughs> I just want to see if there's anything in the corner. No, all right. One of my friends, uh, actually two, I knew two people who, um, well, one of them is still a Wiccan, as far as I know, and then I have no clue about the other one. But I remember, um, let's see, what was it? How far does it go? Um, my first girlfriend was actually a Wiccan, weirdly enough. Which, you know, I never told my, my parents <laughs> about because, uh, you know, fairly, fairly Christian family. B2 F key, cool. Okay. Cool, now we're back up here. It's relatively tempting. Am I poisoned? Oh yeah, I am. I was gonna say, it's relatively tempting to go down the stairs to go and save. But I think we should be able to... We can probably make it back, right? Without dying? Probably. Um, but yeah, so I never tore that. And then one of my uh, one of my friends that I've known since fifth grade is a Wiccan, or yeah, I believe so. Anyway, I know she's she celebrates the solstice and those kind of things. I'm pretty sure one of my other friends has mentioned it before. I think we'll, we'll go down this way and then go to the very bottom to save. But yeah. <laughs> Because I know that, uh, in general, it's more about living alongside nature and all those things and whatnot than it is about doing random magic-ass spells and shit. <laughs> Actually, wait, can I... this area over here? Not here, sorry. Up one and then over. Is, uh... Is there a secret at all? Oops, oh god. Bad time to be in my map. Hey, Lori. Welcome, welcome. I am enjoying the wonderful world of a cellar. Also, that hurt. And I got a, uh, I got a sweet new slash ability, which is pretty nice. And I also, I also saved a little fox or a squirrel girl. I'm not entirely sure what she was. But I saved them, and I'm gonna hope that it like pans out better than the last time we saved someone. All right, this area. Okay, yeah, there totally is a thingy. Yeah, I, I like the Scribbler game. The Scribbler game is a lot of fun. Okay, take take the elevator down and hang out with me. Come on, come on, get, get down here. So I was um. Last time I played Scribble, I think we were all up to like 4.30 in the morning or something ridiculous, and I didn't go to bed until 5 or so. So I was hoping to avoid that, and you know, we did, so that was nice. Um, though it did end a lot shorter than I thought. I guess Among Us really took it out of everyone. But I've been, I've been good on Among Us. <laughs> like, it's fun, but it, it stresses me out when, uh, when we play. Or playing it in general, I guess. Not specifically, you know, playing with them. Uh, get out of here. So, I'm, I'm just no good at lying. Stay to a lower <laughs> cool. So, Scribble is fun. I like that stuff. Like, Scribble and Jackbox are a good time. Jackbox is a pretty fun stream game in general. Um, like I've streamed it a couple times before, I think. 
and had a lot of fun though after a while because I was playing with Twitch chat. Um, after a while, you know, it, it got what you might expect people to show up. Um, sorry, it got like the kind of people who who like to make the funny words, the gamer words, as it were. So, be so much Among Us, yeah, very true. I like watching Among Us though. Like I tuned into, I did tune into Nemos' stream and watch it a bit. <laughs> I think one of the. I'm not like a super loud or boisterous person 50% of the time. But, oh god, what are these things? But I enjoy watching people who are like, uh, like Atane is getting worked up over things. That's always fun. So. I wonder if you trigger this thing going up, if there's anything above it. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. <laughs> I haven't watched Game Grumps in a really, really long time. Um, I don't think I ever actually watched them regularly, but I have had a few friends who do. But I know that Grumped It is a common enough like term for people. Oh, a guillotine. Grumped It just means like... Oh, shoot. Um, like playing the game without reading any instructions and then asking like why <laughs> why you're doing it poorly and such so I can yeah I'm, I'm good I'm not doing that though it is funny enough sometimes like um, later tonight later tonight I will I will be enjoying watching Sunday stream of uh, Mr. Vinny Vines us it's a pasta man because I, I do enjoy his uh, Sunday streams a lot Ooh, it's getting foresty here. And he grumps it a little bit there, but that's because he like plays like 20 different games in a night and they're like ship post games half the time on Sunday, so. What is that horrible noise? Oh, I don't like that noise at all. Is that these things? Okay, so there's a down. Uh, I'm gonna explore this way. Oh, fuck. These things are creep. They're, they're both creepy and cute. Archive 19. Let's see here. Mercy Cellar. Ah, an explanation for this place. Underground chambers where the sacred offices of the Inquisition tortures witches and heretics. As of the fourth witch war, these chambers have been left mostly deserted. The usual sisters who take care of it have been sent to the front lines to combat the increasing threat of the witches. Left abandoned, the Mercy Cellar has been taken over by a band of thieves. Oh. The Gerudu. Oh, ow. Yeah, band of thieves and horrible creatures. Kind of like them, though, honestly. Like, I don't know. Simple design, like little head crab things, but I like that they're just inside of some skulls, it looks like. Maybe that's them. That's weird. Why? Why is this cut off like that? This I did equip the secret indicator, right? Yes. So I guess I would expect that if since I can't go through there for that wall to be a secret thing or something like that, but the indicator isn't going off, so it's weird. They're like head crabs, but way worse. It's always fun to see like people with that kind of, um, you can't parry them, that's the problem. Like artists with like that really like visceral sensibilities to their art. I don't, I don't know how better to describe that, but like for example, I saw, um, saw art of Samus today, but like redrawn as like some kind of weird horrible eldritch creature almost. Oh, this one's gonna be annoying, I can already tell. So like, instead of having a normal body and everything, it was like she was almost made out of vines and stuff. I mean, it looked cool, but you wouldn't want to meet it. You wouldn't want to meet it walking down the street. That's for sure. Okay, so that's opened with that thing. Probably means there's an item down here. Oh, there's a witch. Um, 
Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, is she a boss? Oh, yeah, she is. It's guts, but in which form? So I guess it's it's Shirke. Oops. I don't know if you read Berserk at all. Ooh. Oh, that was bad. Cool. So I'll do my best not to get hurt on the way down there. Ugh, I hate how you... I mean, it makes sense that you lose map progress because you are restarting. But, like, I wish I wasn't <laughs> losing map progress. Ouch. That hurt while in the air like that. I wonder if it's just safer to like spam the uppercut attack. But yeah, I was pretty happy. Uh, Berserk actually updated earlier this month, which was nice because that doesn't happen that often, which uh, is normal for Berserk. But um, it was good. I remember, I think I talked about it on stream when it did because it was a weird chapter with like like funny parts after a sad part, or not sad part, but like a s actual plot point being explained about one of the characters, and then it was mixed in with with one of the characters like running around being a goof. Okay, so now let's try this again. Um, before I do this. Let's give ourselves a chance to do that. Um, and maybe... I'm gonna try out the astral one. See if that helps us get further along. I just realized the parry doesn't actually do anything against her. This does? Ow. She has a really wide arc. But I, I think that attack boost is helping. I don't know how... Oh, I think it just wore off. Oh, fuck! Oh, we're almost there, though. There we go. The third floor key. So that's this floor, maybe? That's weird. This is the third floor? Yeah, all right. Just whoops. looking at the the map, like one directly beneath us was the fifth floor, I thought. So that's really, really odd. These are placed so meanly. <laughs> like imagine getting through that boss fight and then dying because of a random fart gas being poured on your head. Be awful. But yeah, given um, given like certain groups of people, I'm much more boisterous. Like my childhood friends and such, I am very, very much like that. Hold on. I'm gonna go down here with out. I just wanted to know: is this anything? This is this area again. I mean, more just more experience is fine. When I played Drunk Wrestling, or yeah, Drunken Wrestlers 2 with uh, my friends, that was <laughs> that was a good time. But yeah, and I used to play VR Chat 
semi-frequently with uh, a British guy and a couple other friends, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, but typically, typically I, I would be having a beverage when I did such things. Some spicy water, as it were. And, you know, social lubricant makes it a little bit more fun. As of late, um, like not like this morning and earlier in the week, I've been getting impatient with people to some extent. Or like impatient when I talk to people and like <laughs> I almost feel like I almost feel like it's like playing too many visual novels lately and that kind of thing. Is like not having a skip button in real life to like skip over dialogue to get to the next option. <laughs> is what it feels like sometimes where it's like Okay, I know what you're saying. You're good. I don't need you to finish like five other sentences. But maybe it's just because like I know people who reiterate and repeat themselves like over and over again when they're trying to say one thing. So it could be that too, I suppose. Boing. But yeah, I like this game. I think how many how many Momodora games are there? Are there like three or four of them? Oh hello. Oh, I can almost get up there if I try. What if I... Wait, can you do a jump after this? Oh, you did. I, won't. I don't think you can actually do this, but... Oh, that was really close, though. Imagine if you could, like, speed run track. Like, speed run this. Yeah, I'll just go up normally. Like, there's three old ones in the remake. Oh, they remade one? I've only played Reverie of the Moonlight? Is that a thing? Ooh, this person has a lot of health. And I am not... Oh, they're throwing shit, that's why. But that one was fun though, even if it was a little bit short. Down or up? Uh, I guess I'll go up first. I want to read whatever this note is on the wall. Combination. 1909. Okay. So, I guess there's a safe somewhere, maybe? I do like games like this. Um, okay, cool. So I had to come back this way at some point. Let's go down this way, find out what's here. Soup ladle. What? A simple steel ladle essential for serving soup or stew. It does a fourth. I don't remember the game enough to remember if it was linear or not. But <laughs> that's funny though. I mean, that's kind of what makes Metroid game, Metroidvania games fun though, right? Leaf incense. Cures poison. Oh, that's heavy. Hold on. I, I kind of want to see what the combo is. Uh, it's the normal one. So, her, the normal sword looks like this. Also, it gets a heavy thrust. I wonder if this, like, becomes the best weapon in the game or something. Kind of like in Ninja Gaiden. Or Ninja Gaiden. And Ninja Gaiden. Um, the first one, anyway? I don't know if they did it for the second one, and I can't remember... And I don't remember what, um... what the third one had. But the first Ninja Gaiden had a wooden sword. And if you leveled it all up all the way, which was really expensive, it became the best weapon in the game as, like, a gigantic wooden ore that you could beat people with. It was fun. You hated hell enough because it was more confusing. <laughs> Hollow Knight was great though. I mean like the music and like ambience in Hollow Knight was really like I loved it a lot. But I could see getting confused with it. It was it was definitely something. I remember um there's there's one side quest in Hollow Knight where you have to traverse through the whole like kind of blightedish area with all the goop 
and exploding everything without being hurt once. And it was... That was tense. Like, a very clinch moment, as it were. I managed to do it in my first go, though, I think, if I remember right. First or second go, I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it was the first. And I was pretty happy about that, but the entire time was very... Very much, like... Oh, I, I can't think of a nicer way to say it than clenched. Good oh boy. Oh, fuck. Okay, you cannot... You don't get iframes when you do that uh, attack. So... You wanted me to play it and then didn't help. <laughs> it's funny. You know, it seems to have good... Um, like... What's the word? Recommendations for games, which is nice. Ouch. Can I parry it? No. So these things you just have to avoid as much as possible. I, I almost thought about playing Yakuza again the other day, but then decided that I wanted to try to finish this before getting back to it. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Since there are more than one. Apparently Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 all came out on Steam recently. Which is kind of exciting. Because I really do enjoy those games even if, like, I haven't beaten all of them yet. Yeah, I can't play them. <laughs> Fair. Locked. There's a, that looks like there's a ton of items here. This ceiling is weird though. I don't like that it's just open like that. Also, I really... Oh boy. I don't like that everything shakes. Nice ones. Which, um, do you remember which Yakuza he played? I played Yakuza 0 and Kiwami, and I've been work I was working my way through uh, Kiwami 2, which is like the one that I want to get back to at some point. But before getting back to it, I need to like go onto my YouTube archive and read or read, watch like the end of the last one that I did, so that I remember what was going on. He said zero. Ah, zero was great. Kiwami improved uh, it a lot, like. I didn't really think that Yakuza needed improvements, but Kiwami had a lot of nice little quality of life type things that made it uh, made it really nice. So, ouch! I don't like these. I'm glad that they put a save point right near it, though. Okay, so I should be able to open this now, right? I do like I like prison areas, weirdly enough. Like, I can't think... Ouch. That could have been avoided. I can't think of a, like, Metroidvania-type game or any type of game with a prison area that I haven't enjoyed. With maybe the only... The only one that I can think of that isn't... Oh, wow. Just screwed. Is there anybody who also watch these ones? That's fair. That is totally fair. Kiwami 2 um, picks off, like pretty close to after Kiwami 1 does or and like pretty much spoils the ending of the first one because of that so definitely not not one you want to watch if you're trying to play the first game and enjoy it or play the first game and not lose things you know what I mean okay so I could drop down here or go through horrible, horrible land. Oh, fuck. But apparently in like the later Yakuza's, like, I don't know if it's if 3, but I'm pretty sure at definitely 4 and 5. Um, you play as an older. Oh, hey, it's, it's this. Um, it was 1909, right? There we go.
Well, I found a save point, so that's nice. Um, kind of curious, because I did. We did avoid a drop down over the other way. I don't really want to miss anything if there's something cool there. But you play as an older Kiryu in uh, later installments, and I really want to see that. Because I mean, he's he's a good character. So like, I want to know what ends up happening to him, and like, kind of where he goes in life. Oh, this! Oh no! Oh, okay. Good, good, good. So, the only the only issue that I had playing the Yakuza games is that I only ever wanted to stream them when I had like at least three hours of time because they're like watching like mobster movies and like the amount of drama and everything that goes on. But following up, I've been judged guilty by the Secret Office Inquisition. Dilemma of Del Mar, Nelia, D. Pavel. I wonder if these are characters in any of the other Momodoras and like just kind of Easter eggy or something. Wow, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Also, okay, good. For a moment I thought I was using the soup ladle still. If I use the soup ladle on the pancake, doesn't do it. Hurt so much. Yeah, you're free. Be, be free. Cool. So I mean, this is definitely very much backtracking, but oh, oh shit, these things again. Backtracking, but worth it, I think. Um, sorry. Getting back to what I was saying before about prison areas, the only game I can think of that had a prison area that like I didn't enjoy a ton. And I don't even know if it qualifies as a prison area, but um, Amnesia the Dark Descent, the I think it's a prison. It could be some sewers, but I'm pretty sure there were it was a prison area. Um, was so stressful. It was enjoyable, like because you wanted to be stressed in that game, I guess to some extent, right? But it was just so well done, like where I'd be crouching along the dark corridors and like seeing long hallways and peeking out and really really not wanting to go down those hallways and spending like five minutes like working up the courage to go do it. It was something else. That that game was really something special I think. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Yeah. It's really too bad that the uh... that... Wow, I've already forgotten what the subtitle of the newer Amnesia is. I streamed it. Why am I blanking on this? Uh, Rebirth. Amnesia Rebirth. It's really too bad that like Rebirth had such a poor reception. Though I, I totally understand why it did, having played it. It was still a good game. It just wasn't... Um, it just wasn't quite the same Amnesia that people expected. So good though, but I think the most that anyone is going to remember from that game is going to be like press X to give birth, you know, which is too bad, honestly, because it was a pretty cool story and it was neat to go and find out like the origins of the Vitae and all that stuff. I won't get into it too much because I don't want to spoil it, but you learn a lot of things about the about the world that you kind of only read about in the first game. So I thought that was cool. If they had toned back the narrative a bit and the cutscenes, then I think people would have probably received it a bit better. I died down there. Right, so maybe I'll go... I want to go this way because I think it connects down to those rooms underneath. Oh, we haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Also, I still have the odd instance on right yet. But, it's weird. I like horror games, but I don't 
play that many of them? Oh boy. Hello, experience. That was nice. No items down here, huh? It's too bad. All right. I really didn't need to go all the way over here, but just wanted to find items. Hello, tentacle live all things. Oh, oh, it's a lady. Oh, she has a shield. Too bad shields don't work against lightning, as Link told us in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I think I'll heal. Can you believe it's almost February already? I really wasn't... I mean, I don't want to say I wasn't expecting it, but January went by pretty fast, it feels. Which is not a bad thing, I suppose. I think every month that goes by while we're all enjoying our pandemic uh, is another month that, you know, we're looking forward to being gone. A month closer to uh, things maybe getting better, but oh, here's the slowest January ever. What did this just open? Door unlocked. Oh, is it the one down there? Cool, so this, this did backtrack over here, which is fine. There's a poison lady there that I don't need to deal with, except for the fact that it's probably it's probably easier to deal with her than it is to like, go back through everything else. Maybe. So the year feels like ages ago. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong about that, actually. I spent New Year's with my with my family in a different state, and that does feel like it was a while ago. Oh, no! Oh, okay, they're not dead. I don't want to murder these. Like, they they asked to be killed, but I don't, I don't think it's necessarily my place to be murdering these people who are stuck down here. Fuck. Well, that blows. I shouldn't have tried to block the bomb. I should have just murdered them. Oh, man. Gotta do that all again. Oops. Do anything for New Year's? Yes, that was that was me. I still, despite all that, I still haven't like made a playlist. Though one of um one of the shows that was airing this season or no last season, sorry, um, did have a New Year's episode pretty early on. So I'm gonna have to add that to next year's stuff. But it's I don't know, it's a fun little way to do New Year's I think. Like I mean my parents watch the ball and all that stuff, which is fun and fine. The uh I've talked about Year Camp season two. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah, thank you. I think it was like was it the first episode or the second episode? It was... It was really, really early on. Oh, I mean, not that there's been that many episodes yet, only four so far, right? But... Yeah, so that's nice. It's always nice when it's like an episode one of a season for that, because then it's really easy to find when you go back to try to find it. Hold on, let me... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try this again. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it at the time, but the Emilia family household show? Dinner at the Emilia household, I think, is the title of the English. Sort of thing. Um, 
that one's first episode is a New Year's episode about soba, which is fun. <laughs> Having had New Year's soba before in Japan, I, I like that episode a good deal. So also, I really in, like the thing that I enjoy the most about that anime is that, you know, you can actually make the recipes that they give you. Like, I only watched one season of Food Wars, but I, I don't remember if um, if it was always makeable, like the, the recipes that they had. I think they did, but sometimes like the their reactions, I suppose, will the whole show, but sometimes that show is a little bit over the top. I wonder if I... I haven't watched the second or third seasons of it, though. I guess the easiest thing to do is just take two flights up and then save there. Hated floors. It's a fun show, but I think that it definitely, like, it has a gimmick, and I think that, I think it was getting a little bit thick at the end. Like, at the end of the first season, you, you've seen people react like crazy people to food enough times that it's no longer really particularly novel. B1, B2, B3. Okay, so I'm missing the fourth floor key, but have the third. Do I know how the key for the one over this way? Okay, hold on, let me find out. Boink. And you hate etchy stuff. I don't mind etchy stuff. I mean, it is what it is, you know? Like, I can I can just enjoy it for it. Ah, oh, good thing I say it. Um, but it's nice when, like, things have a good plot alongside the etchy stuff. And not just, like, plot, you know? Know what I'm saying? Ouch. Come on. Come on. I, uh, I need to go... Um, I still need to finish... What was it called? Do Dokex Heroes or something? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about anything bad. I was just thinking about series that I never finished. Um, mainly Deers, which is an older show, but I had the, the first, oops, I had the first volume of the, the DVD. I think I got it for Christmas. Like my, one of my sisters, I think got it for me. And I had the first volume in comic form, but I never finished it. Cause I think, um, I think at that time, I think I was getting ready for college back then maybe, or maybe actually wait. Maybe I just couldn't afford it. I'm trying to remember when that when did it, I got it? Hold on, I gotta look this up because two thousand five. Yeah, okay, so it was way back when. Um, it was around when I was enjoying Steel Angel Kurumi and kind of first getting into a lot of stuff. I think, and Steel Angel Kurumi is still great. I one of the reasons why I really really should focus on reading and learning more kanji it's because i have the final volumes that were never released in like they never got a translation for whatever reason and so i had the final two volumes of it Ooh, this is cool i don't know I, I don't i don't know about the slash mode though it doesn't have any height to it does this have one okay it's not any more strong It's cool though, um, but yeah, the the final volume of Stealing Joe Kurumi, or final two volumes, I think, were never translated. So luckily for me, for Christmas a while ago, like a couple, maybe three or four years ago, my sister who uh, lives in Japan managed to find like the complete set of them and got it for me as a gift. So I got a shoebox one day in the mail full of like mint condition Stealing Joe Kurumi. Uh, manga volumes and it's so nice like I can kind of tell what happens at the end just you know based on what was happening like the pictures and stuff but like I mean it ends with her smiling and I want to know like more why because like the plot of Steel Angel Kurumi in the comic was way more interesting than the, the anime original ending that they made for it 
Not that the anime or original one was bad per se. It was just, you know, you know love, love conquers all kind of deal, which is fine. Uh, but there was like time travel and other crazy shit and like an entire sort of tournament arc that was going on with the, the comic that was just never in the anime. It was, it was a lot of fun. So, oh, hey, the little boxer squirrel girl thing that's made it up here. Hi, are you, are you gonna like fuck my day up? I'm pleased to see you both alive and well. Likewise, this place is full of danger. I'm still trying to find my way around, but I overheard an interesting conversation. Some of those thieves were talking about the cathedral, as if we were pretty close to it. More specifically, it seems we're underneath it? Ah, I see. And I haven't found my family yet. Possible they aren't here any longer. I haven't seen any other prisoners either. Unfortunately, we also haven't seen much on the way here. What you just said, though, about this dungeon being under the cathedral. We should look for a way back to the surface. I'm sure we can find it. I believe so too, Camphor. Me and Sister Samilla are on an important mission. We cannot afford to die here. We don't know when to expect reinforcements, and the witch's power grows stronger by the minute. Princess? No. All of Ramesia depends on our efforts. Sister Fran, save your worries. We will escape. <sighs> right. It's not the time for weaknesses. So, towards the cathedral. I trust we should meet there? Okay. Okay. That, that just reminds me of Mother 3. Oh, such a good game. I, I want to play Mother 3 at some point on stream, I think. But I also kind of... I haven't played the other Mother games, but I've watched one and a half playthroughs of Mother 3. One by Vine Sauce back in the day, and then um, the virtual YouTuber OKU has been making her way through it. And I'm on like the fifth part, I think, of her playthrough out of uh, eight that she's done so far. And she's doing it in Japanese, obviously. Well, Mr. Vinny Vinesauce Pasta Man did it in uh, the English mod that someone made for um, the emulated version. That's the only way to play it. Because it doesn't have an official release over here. What was the point of that room over there, by the way? Actually, hold on. Did I hit the wall? I did, right? There's not a secret here. Actually, now that I think about it, I have the secret incense on, so it would make a noise if it did. So, never mind. I, I guess we're just grinding up a level here. Pretty close to looking up, actually. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Okay. Um, but I kind of wonder if I should play the first couple of Mother games. Earthbound, Mother, same difference. Um, just because I haven't played those two. At least the Garden Witch has been dealt with. Oh, she's a thief! Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yes, my hand's far more capable than yours. Those two nuns, they, they were useful. They sure were, weren't they? Olivier, you are completely worthless. Those very same religious maniacs are now running around here. The damn witches are doing God knows what. This place won't stop shaking. Hey, what's up? Ah, speak of the devil. Y you two, how did you... Shut your damn mouth, you useless imbecile. Ah, well, I, I guess I don't have to worry about being betrayed by her anymore. What can I do for you lovely nuns? Keep your distance. I want nothing to do with you, murderer. <laughs> how amusing. Your hands are just as dirty. Watch your tongue. Once as you would not understand the divine mission. The divine mission? Don't feign ignorance on me. Let me peer about your mission. You know very well what I talk about. All over these halls, and you are the embodiment of it. This torture held down here an example of your god's infinite purity? No. You don't understand. Don't despair, darling. We're just getting started. Yeah, she just straight up... She just shanked a bitch. Oh, this is... It's Fricka. We, we've heard her name before. Or where is she? Oh, she's just throwing shit at me. Oh, that's kind of cool. The, the boss arena is like the whole thing. 
Neat. Good music. Oh, fuck. I was paying attention. She's cool, though. I like her moveset. Ouch. But she's not murdering me, at least. Yeep. Where, where are you? Eat Ash. Good, good violin. I once tried to learn the violin because uh, my aunt, my aunt had a uh, for me. Well, fuck off. Um, but I never got past like dead cat stage. You know what I mean? Like, where no matter how much you resin the bow up, it doesn't seem to help, and you always make horrible noises. Ouch. I think hit quite as much as I wanted to. But I wish I could learn the violin. Sometimes. I, I'll just stick to flute, though. I think. Though I don't play it that often because I do live in an apartment building. So generally I consider maybe... Maybe it's not the best thing to play. Considering the flute, despite it all, is still a pretty loud instrument. What? What move did she just use? Okay. Well, alright. Uh, I'm going to swap the Ashen Incense for the, um... Wait, whoa, when did I get this? Glowing Incense. Cool. I'll have the vibrato for violins. Yeah, but I mean, when it sounds like a dying cat warbling away, then it's maybe not the best. Alright, let's use Colorless again. And, um... There it is, the Astro Incense. What's the leaf one? Poison? Poison. Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, I talked to you already, right? Yep. But yeah, I try not to annoy the neighbors too much. So, like, an older dude lives on one side of me. I don't know, I don't actually know who lives on the other side. The, uh, the older dude's a little creepy though, but I just had a weird tone of voice when I met him in the elevator. Like the only time that I've met him and he told me that I was his neighbor. <clears throat> but for all I know, he was just having a weird day and just using a super ultra creepy tone of voice because that's how he likes to greet new people. I don't know. Should I use Astro first? I don't know if, uh... Oh, well, too late now. Maybe I should use the mace on her. I wonder if that would do any... Like, work any better at all. Oh, it's a two here. I think I got hit by like that, where like those flowers were just, fuck, were, were flying up and such, and then she uh, like did a stab me, I think that's what got me last time. You bore me, I say as, as I die. Bye bye. That was a good boss fight though, I like that a lot. Also the music being like instantly like, there it is good shit it's the exact opposite as um ender lilies <laughs> where you have to like not kill the boss too quickly so you can hear the music sing comes with a price for some one too large a burden how many more must i kill to pay the price i assume that's sister Samilla's. can i talk to the lady no no matter what we are together for now let's continue our mission Okay, Fran, you got it. Let me let me just go save real quick. Okay, so that's the thief's key. That was fun though. 
I kind of wish that I got a, like, I hope that there's an extra combo somewhere or something to mix things up a little. Maybe I should have beat her with the soup ladle. I'm gonna go down here first. Slugs. Giant empty room. Oh, I should um should equip the oh jeez. The odd incense again. And the astral one is kind of whatever. Let's use the glowing one. Let's blow up the slug. Wow, that uh that did a lot of damage. Maybe two hit the thing anyway, but still. Oh, that's a lot of slugs. I almost feel bad about hitting them because they don't really attack, but... Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can you, like, cheese it a little bit and just, like... I think you actually can. Ah. She, like, gets almost as high as she needs to be there. Oh, I get it. So the whole point is that the slugs aren't really here to fight, but to just fuck you over when you fall down on top of them. That's what it is. Very nice game. Very nice. Oh boy. Ah, yeah, like that. Cool. Alright, so let's not mess up the platforming in the next section, I guess. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. Slightly more aggressive slugs live up here. Hmm. Oh shit, I almost didn't see him. Whew. What? Oh, the silence. You know what the one of one of the troubles about Sundays is, or at least it for Sundays for uh, people who work Monday through Fridays, I guess. Like besides the oh man, I gotta work tomorrow thing, is that for some reason I always feel like Sundays are the best nap days. Like you always wanna, you always wanna like take a nice afternoon nap on a Sunday, but you feel bad because you're losing parts of your last weekend day. Is the story connected to Automodor? I I want to say it's probably the same timeline, honestly. But it's it's been so long since I've read the um, like the wiki pages on the first Moadora that yeah, I'm not sure. But like Moadora had witches and like a whole world thing and witch wars and all that stuff, right? Just taking place across different times, right? Am I am I remembering my my wiki reading right? So this is a fourth witch war, I guess. So I want to say it's probably the same timeline. Again, the uh, the names that we read on the piece of paper that was on the wall earlier about who came through this dungeon, I really want to know if like any of those people were in previous games. Oh, oh wait, I missed something. Hold on. Here we go. Whoa. That looked like it would have done damage. I think I hear tentacle dudes. Yep, there they are. The head crabs of the Mercy Cellar. Silver coin. Cool. I mean, I'm cool with that. Oh, look at the little rat. Hello, little rat. Boing. Does this connect all the way up, I wonder? Just making sure I had the audience on the clip. You know, 
I should check. I should check to see if um, Little Witch No Beta has gotten an update or not. Because that was a really fun game. Unlock the thief. Oh! Oh, we're back in the cathedral. Neat. And there's a secret in this room, apparently. So we're going. There's still a secret in this room. Where? Where? Oh, it's down? Uh, the map says there's a down. Yeah, Little Witch No Beta is really fun. Tricky. A little hard. But, but a lot of fun once you get the gimmicks of the um, parry mechanic that it has, which is really what a lot of the gameplay goes around. What the? How do you go? Maybe you get a weapon that actually has like a uh, down hit or something at some point. to come up to it from like down below or something all right i'm gonna go that's obviously the way like you know of progression but hold on wait actually did we miss anything the room right over here Is that locked? There must have been a locked door right there, I guess. But also that cathedral connects. Wait, is that the start of the game? I think the, I think that's back at the start of the game. And it connects back over that way to here. I want to I want to go back to this one that we didn't quite finish exploring. Because we have that thief key now, so I have to imagine that that would probably unlocks something for us. And it's probably worth trying to come at it from the cellar side, I think, even though it looks like it connects to the cathedral above. That could just be like an alternate way up to the cathedral so you can go both ways. Ouch. Probably didn't really need to do that. But. Yeah. yeah, no beta was a, a very cute game with pretty decent. Ouch. Oh, am I at the bottom of the No, these are slugs. So. I'm looking forward to seeing more areas because the, uh, the volcano castle thing was a pretty cool one, I thought. And its boss really, really required you to learn how to use the parry mechanic. So. Speaking of. Whoa, boy. Speaking of cute, adorable things, um, the newest episode of Non Non Binor, Biori, was fantastic. It was so cute. I got a, I got a burger and some pickle uh, fried pickles for dinner today, and then sat down and watched it. It was so, so nice and relaxing. Renge Chan gets a. Uh, <laughs> She plays the role of big sister for a new character, and it was great. It was really adorable. Not to mention, pretty much any any episode that involves Renge and Candy Store doing stuff together is pretty much always going to be a good episode, I think. Like, I, if you've watched the Non Non Biori, um, there was a bone that does minimal damage. Why would I want to do minimal damage? Bone. Eh. Oh, it's like Pow Hammer from Tales of Symphonia. Okay, but I can't go this way, it looks like. Unless, uh. Does the fiery explosion do anything? Nope. Alright, so that's blocked off. Uh, 
I want to go down anyway. I had, um, I got honey mustard and mayonnaise with my fried pickles to dip them in. Because I figured that mayonnaise would actually be like a good dipping sauce for them. And it was. Honey mustard was good too, but... The one thing that I probably should look into is, um, I kind of... The, the past like four or five days, I've just been reminiscing about my trip to Japan for some reason. I mean, not for some reason, I guess, just because I, I miss it. Um, but I've been missing it a lot. And one of the things that they have over there that we don't really have here is like, they have this like, the mayonnaise there is like this sweet mayonnaise and it's so good. Oh wait, that's a, uh, oh, that's the Easter, possible Easter egg pamphlet. Let me go, let me go for that. Cupie, Cupie, Cupie. Is that the the brand of it, or just? This, but that stuff's good. Oh no, that's the combination. Never mind. But it's really good. And while the like the mayonnaise that I had for dipping my fried pickles in wasn't quite the same, it still made me think about it. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so we'll have to approach that from a different direction then. We found an Asian market soon. See, I feel like the more we talk about food and recipes and stuff, maybe the more like I realize that the little Asian market that I have access to sucks <laughs> because I feel like I never see things there. Not that I like, I haven't gone to it in a while because it's kind of far away from me. It's like a um, maybe like a seven minute drive or so, but I don't have a car and it's nine degrees outside and wintry and snowy. So the prospect of taking my motorcycle out in that is a terrible idea. So I don't, I don't know, no, no amount of hochicha tea and kupi, kupai, um, is gonna, is gonna motivate me to go out like that. I've driven once in like 32 degree weather on my motorcycle, like the first year that I got it. I drove it once uh, in the cold, and that was that was enough. Like I made it to work there and back without too much of an issue. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Spare the storm walk there. It'd be like a half hour walk, I think. It's like a a longish back road to get uh, onto the main road from where I am. So it's a pretty like short ride on with a vehicle but not so short for a walk might be 45 minutes actually now i think about it i have to look but yeah i mean i guess i could if i wanted to go on an adventure one day i haven't walked in a while i used to like how many years ago was this 2000 2014 and 2015 so the year of 2014 or so, um, I was really into running and like really enjoyed it and was running every other day and uh, started at like being barely able to run for like 10 minutes. Like I I'd, I'd get winded after like seven or so to being able to run for like an entire hour and got up to five, five miles at one point, like on one of my longer runs of just continuous enjoyment and runner's high and what have you. And I kind of miss that sometimes, um, but I kept the running up like even during the winter and such. And it was a lot of fun, but I definitely overdid it, and I kind of messed up, kind of messed up my uh, uh, whatever muscles are down with your shins and such. I finally did some physical therapy a year ago. Yeah, it was, it was no maybe more than like a year and a half ago. Um, and the people, the people there were telling me, like after inspecting my legs and such, that basically one side, like on one side of the leg, the muscles were a lot stronger than on the other side. So like running wise, they try to compensate and like kind of twist, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if I'm describing it well, but basically um, after all that running and whatnot, and then trying to take time off from doing it because it started hurting, I couldn't run or walk quickly for more than like a minute at a time without getting like pretty intense pain in my legs. So 
I, I kind of stopped walking. What the fuck is this? Hi, are you friend? No, you're not friend. No health bar, just big and angry. Um, but yeah, so I didn't... I kind of got out of walking and such, even though I used to walk a lot. But not because I couldn't walk for too long without it hurting a lot. Alright, uh... Wow. On the one hand... Holy shit. That's a... They have a lot of health. But I did go for like a hour long walk or so a while ago. I'm all the way back here. Oh wait, never mind. I just saved. Still wondering where the... Uh, where the secret is in this room though. Maybe you have to like attack with something specific. Like use the super tool. But anyway, all all that is to say that whole backstory one I is that uh <laughs> braving the storm and and walking over, um I would need to like prepare myself well for it, I guess is what I'm saying. Because otherwise it's gonna hurt. The joys of, oh, I, I don't think it's necessarily the joys of getting old, as it were. I'm just gonna fall down the pit. See what's down here first. Hey, okay. oh, okay. Archive twenty-four. Saints. The saints of the sacred office are the devout who have transcended their humanity. They live in direct contact with the gods and with his eminent grace. As such, the church has made icons out of them to inspire the people of Ramesia. But in reality, the saints live a life of hypocrisy, bathing in riches and engaging in secret orgies. Gross. Who's writing this down? Like, what, what person is, uh, is writing this? Oh, there's a boss here. Who are you? Are you a saint? You, oh, never mind. It's, it's not a boss. It's just a room with very angry individuals who have a lot of health. And a laser? Oh, that's one down. Just you two? Nope, there's more. Three more. Come on, spawn in. I don't know why. I almost want to fight them using the soup label or something. Oh shit, there's one right here too. Oh god. These ones have a little less health than before. Wow, three rounds. Ouch. Oh, there's an actual witch this time. Alright, I am now out of attack incense. I'm at a weird angle. Ouch. Oh god. Get out of here. I don't like healing in midair. Seems like the safest place to heal. Alright, is there another round or what? Nope, that's it apparently. A lot of enemies. Ooh, but there's an item, so that seems worth it. Uh, another healing incense, so we have more of that for the future. And B. What I really want though is a, a save point so I can restock on my incense. I got Chinese bacon at a 
that Asian market though one time. And that was really good. I brought it over to my friend's place. Oh cool. I guess we could go check out Oh shit, right, Hit. let's pay attention. Um, there's an there's something we haven't quite explored above us here. So we could go do that. Um, but I brought over my friend's house before, and uh, he has a cast iron skillet. Wait, yeah, we we've been here before. The, yeah, we're back at the like the start of the game. Okay, cool. And now I can actually get this silver coin obtained. Okay, that's nothing. And another silver coin. And another silver coin. Ah, oh, this kind of looks like that thing. Uh, but yeah, here's a cast iron skillet, and we we threw it over the fireplace. The fireplace. The um, a campfire that we had in his backyard. And, and made it. It was really good. His dogs appreciated the fact that that there was some meat to be shared with them. They also liked the squid chips that I brought because they had um, that Asian market has the meat flavors of variety of like Lay's chips. So there's squid and uh, other things like fried chicken and what have you. But squid chips are actually really good. Like this, the flavor is surprisingly dead on. As weird as that seems. I guess when you powder squid or something, it, it doesn't really lose too much of its flavor. It's the only way I can kind of interpret that. Samilla's like, she looks really elegant when she does that slash up like that. Just the way she like falls gently down and whatnot and everything kind of floats every, everywhere. It's nice. Okay, so if we head backwards, uh, there's a secret in this room, apparently. Oh, I guess there must be, right? Uh, I think about it, considering this connects all the way down, but we weren't able to go this way before. Oh, hi, thanks. Coin collector, that you might unlocked. Because we have probably half of all the coins now. Was this... was there a locked door before or something? Like what a... how does this connect to that other area? Well this is the other side at least. Jeez. Ow. Now you know what? That's what you get. You have so much health. Why do you have so much health? Huh. Alright. Um cool. So what's up dude? I guess here's the question, right? We can go back to the left, like past this hulking man, and go to that save point if we want to try to figure out what the secret there is. Because there is a secret, apparently, but I have no idea how we're supposed to open something underneath us. Alternatively, we maybe go back... I guess we'd go back to the garden, right? Because that was the entrance to the castle that the garden which was was guarding. So we'd head back that way. Yeah, okay. I really don't know what to do about that other room, so I'm gonna assume that we need uh, need some other item or something like that to get through it. And so we'll just kind of try to progress along. We also have 20 coins to spend. Or something. So. Ouch. I wonder if there's a pacifist run in this game. Like, outside of bosses, obviously. 
probably possible, right? Besides like the forced encounters. Also, I wonder if we go back to uh, the room with the princess in it. Boing. Anything in here? Oh yeah, there's. Oh, wait, I think I see it. There you go, silver coin. How high up can you go? Neat. I wonder if the princess will have any new dialogue at all. Plants have arisen in the ceremony. We must return to nature! Quickly, embrace the Ray Ayanami clones and become LC. Become juice! Anyone else looking forward to the final rebuild movie finally coming out? Like finally getting some closure on that mess of a quadrilogy? Um, the princess is gone. Is that intentional? Hey, where, where's the princess? If you're looking for the princess, she's no longer here. Something must have happened to her when I wasn't looking. Ha ha. Tenandayo! Ha ha. What? You just you just let the princess leave your sight like that? Okay. Sturdy incense. Oh, no, uh, no recoil. That's cool. Uh, I can afford all of them. So... We're just gonna... We're just gonna buy all her shit. Come back every now and then. Okay. Hmm. The gentle incense might be good just for general exploring. Add extra stun damage to your attacks. That could be handy. Um, and situational. Nothing new. Yeah, the the third rebuild movie. Well, it was pretty, and it was nice to see like Shinji have a spine, which was like you know, one of the things that he didn't have <laughs> in uh in, in previous timelines, as it were. Um, it was still like. The whole movie had me mad because if they had bothered to explain anything to Shinji at all after he came out of his like coma thing, none of that shit would have happened. Like, it's just it's such a pain. I mean, it, it, it doesn't even, I don't know if I want to say that it makes sense that they're so cold to him, but like, no one explains anything and just expects him to like fall over and like get in line. Whoa, hello. Were you always up there like that? It's frustrating. So, but then again, I mean, I do get that that sets the backdrop for his and Kaoru's relationship and like why he trusts Kaoru so much, similar to the original series, where the reason why Shinji trusts Kaoru so much is because Kaoru's the only one who like actually like loves him, as it were, or loves him in a way that he understands. But still, it's, uh, I hate any kind of drama that's like the force kind of drama where like it's the misunderstanding type. Basically, uh, the entire, oh, fuck off. the entirety of like Citrus or other, a lot of like year, uh, drama shows seem to have that. Or even just like the school drama shows like, um, what was it? There was one that had that, or there it was like video game focused, I think. Like a video game club of some variety. Ow! Rude. 
but like the whole all the drama in the show came from uh misunderstandings and people just not explaining shit which is the worst really really crap way of doing any kind of drama show but that's kind of what the third evangelion rebuild movie made me think of so i'm hoping that the fourth one like has a satisfying arc and redemption to it all but who knows i mean for all we know we'll just get trolled by ano again like original episodes 25 and 26. hello door new friend chat this path is blocked off no it's not we're good inspect diary forward the following manuscripts contain my personal writing to interpretation of certain facts these thoughts far too profane to be uttered publicly will rest only within these pages Sister Chikoria was put on trial and faced the Inquisition. She confessed her betrayal, among other sins, which included being in contact with many sinners and pledging low to the Archwitch. I do not understand her motives. Why would she behave like this? I attended Sister Chikoria's execution yesterday. This afternoon, I paid her grave a visit. I felt a weird peacefulness surrounding it. Not too long ago, she left one of her forbidden books with me. I inspected it once I got back to the convent. A rotten book covered in moss. It's full of notes translating its contents to the common tongue. It might help me understand her intentions better, as no other public record goes into detail about witchcraft. Pray every night to be forgiven for the sin of curiosity, but I crave more. The heretical text mentions certain names as deities, which I've never heard of. And above those deities is the Archwitch, the matriarch goddess that unifies everything. These witch prophecies predict a pure state for our world, following the guidance of the Archwitch. A world where we have abandoned our sins and become one with the planet. I shouldn't read any more of this. It feels like a confusing fairy tale. I've been doubting my faith in the rules I live by. I was taught to cut the tongues of the witches to silence them before they can speak, yet here I stand, studying their stories. Their heretics follow a strange but peaceful view on life. How can our sacred faith, the greatest kindness, not forgive them for their choice? This is the final entry in the secret diary. I have a feeling I understand now why St. Chikoria sinned. I also believe the witches are innocent of sin. But if I disclose my thoughts to others, I will meet the same fate as her. The intolerant persecution imposed by the church must end. A different voice should be heard and taken into consideration. The love and compassion taught inside these walls should not be paired with hypocrisy. The sacred office suspects my behavior. Sister Viela has been tasked to pay attention to my activities. I know too much of the forbidden heresies, but as a celestial saint, I have to follow the mission given to me. I teach new sisters the rule of the church and silence any who stand against it. I'm a coward. I value my life more than my principles. If I cannot stand against the sacred office, I pray someone will eventually. Whoever finds this diary, please inherit this cause. Olivia. Is Olivia the um, the first one, like the traitor we found before? Please confess you by saying, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Okay, so that was the same. Maybe not. I don't, I don't remember the name of the, uh, the traitor boss we fought. It's blocked off. Okay, so that's... So it's blocked off there. So we probably have to use this bottom path right here, maybe? That makes sense to me. Alright, so left and then down a bunch. That was cool, though. I do enjoy games where... Um, like the world building and lore is uh, primarily done through logs that you can read so you can kind of interpret them as you will and like it not being the quote unquote word of god type stuff but rather being from character perspectives about what's going on so you always have that little bit of like doubts and like you could see it as them misinterpreting things or not um one sec i wanna i wanna go down to this one can i open it yes an item and this is 
I can probably open it from this side, maybe? Or maybe I can open this? Nope. Oh, but there's a witch guardian. Okay, so we probably have to get through the entire room first. Ouch. Need to heal. And we're gonna swap. Oh. I didn't realize I equipped that. <clears throat> Sorry, let me just sip a little water. Okay. Boing. What was I saying? Um. Ouch. Man, no. Oh, I was in the middle of healing. I should have jumped. How far away am I? Oh god. We had to go... We had to go back to the saints room, right? That sucks. Ah, uh, man. I wish there had been a uh, save point a little closer. We'll, uh, we'll speed through as best as we can while still being safe. I don't think we are too far away. Right? Yeah, it's just right here. It's interesting that the Thieves' Key uh, gets through all this. So, we read this already. I wonder if just by reading those things we unlock like possible other endings or anything like that at all, you know? Path is blocked. Okay, there we go. So never mind, we didn't miss much, we didn't lose much progress at all, it just felt like it because I spent so much time reading that. Down here, right? Hmm. But yeah, like Subnautica is a great example, I think, of a game that does storytelling through logs really, really well. That in um, Metroid, Metroid Prime. I remember, I think that's probably where my affinity for that type of thing came from. Playing Metroid Prime on the GameCube when it came out, I didn't. We had Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Sunshine. Animal Crossing, and then Metroid Prime. I think those are the first games that I had for the GameCube. And I spent so much time playing Metroid Prime. What a good game. I have the uh, the trilogy version, like the version that came out with the Wii. And I could, at some point I could hook my Wii U up and play it. Probably feel. So she doesn't kill me again. Okay, keep going. That'd be fun. But I don't think I don't think I ever really played the third one, even though I do own it now. I played through the first one a while ago and through the second one, I think, and then kind of ran out of steam. Mm. Get up there. Feels like there should be something up here, but maybe there's not. Okay. I do have the audience sense right now. Oh, I forgot to unequip this for the gentle one. Metroid Prime had so many log entries, it was great. And then the second one, the second one maybe even more so, 
as far as like telling a story with logs, especially the intro beginning part of it all. Where you're investigating like, the soldiers' deaths and all that stuff. And you get the individual logs from each person, it's like some of them are going crazy. Or not going crazy, but like noticing shit happening. Okay, um, so I want to up and over. It's just a cool narrative, I think. It'd be kind of, like, every now and then I toy with the idea of, um, oh, hey, it's you. Uh, one second. Sister Samilla! Glad we were able to meet once more. Hope all is good. Heard I should try to help whoever I, however I can. Looked around and was able to smell some hidden incenses. Please, take a little of what I've got. Oh, she's a shop. Um, I have most of these. River incense. Reduces the damage by 5%. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I bought those elsewhere. Cool. My dory! I'll remain here for now. If you need any of these incenses, please come meet me. What will do, little buddy? Can I open this? Yes. Cool. Please give me a save point. Would really, really appreciate a save point now. Feels like I'm due one. Um, but as I was saying, oh, these are like the silence things, right? Like they explode and they cause silence. Every now and then I think about trying to do like a Unity or um, Unreal, e Unreal turn. Unreal Engine uh, tutorial and whatnot, and like try to make like, kind of a simple walking simulator type game or something with like logs and like place it in like a uh, like abandoned spaceship or something and have people learn things and then do something. Um, but I'm not the greatest of writers, so I don't really know if I'd be able to bring something like that to fruition. But um, I think about it every now and then. And then, you know, I get to, get to the point where I'm like considering it more and then realize that I don't want to, I don't want to um, go through the hassle of setting up the development environment on my machine. <laughs> I know that's a dumb reason, but it's like the same reason why I haven't actually gotten around to trying out any of the World of Horror modding stuff you can do. Because even though it's a it's a text file that you make to add in a uh, a new event or what have you, uh, this is a terrible place to spawn. Good God! Yikes! Wow, it really a lot of plants grew here. Luckily for me, there's a, uh, a save point over this way. Um, but I found like a really nice program that someone made with Java 11, I think. And they were gonna, like, they made a nice like visual editor for making new events for World of Horror. But they, uh, the thing they used to sign the jar to make an executable for Windows was, uh, it like ran out of its license or something. So you can't actually use it. So I was like, well, you know, I could just compile it from source. And, uh, I don't know, but getting through the hassle of installing it. And like, they didn't use Maven or anything. They just have like the IDE project set up or something. I really don't like installing IDEs if I don't have to because they're really heavy. So, yeah, I mean, Java's fine. I, I like Java. I do. I program in Scala for a living, so Java is kind of a part of my normal life. But I prefer to do development on Linux and Unix systems because, I don't know, I just don't like Windows command line. Even installing something like git bash where you actually get proper nice Unix command shell action while you're uh, doing your thing, it's still like clunky as all hell. So. But one day, one day I'll get around to it and maybe make some custom uh, World of Horror map stuff. Or not map, but uh, events. 
Oh, come on. You can totally make that. You got... You got this, sister. Aw. Oh. Doesn't it seem like she should be able to do it? Like, she's just barely, barely there. All right, one more. No. All right, fine. I'll go around. And then when it comes to, uh, like, looking at Unreal, because, like, in general, it seems like the consensus is that Unity is really easy to use, but it's also really easy to accidentally make bloated, um, bloated stuff if you're not doing it, you know, in the way that you could be. But a lot of people um, seem to suggest the Unreal Engine has been a, you know, a good one, sorry, for, uh, Kind of getting that more intermediate medium difficulty level but making overall most of the time slightly more efficient stuff so i don't know and also like one of my first languages that i learned was c plus plus so i just kind of have i enjoy it regardless even though it's a little bit trickier than other things i actually don't is unity c sharp i forget i think it's c sharp the only time I've actually seen anything in that was when I was um, when I was playing VR chat more often. I did have uh, the various tools that you use to make models and like rig them up to the world installed. Okay, right, yes. So I had those. I think it was C sharp that I saw. That's what I did. C sharp's okay looking, I guess. I've, I've never been super into it, but I like C plus plus. I enjoyed seeing. I enjoyed, you know, learning it and such. Although I think I can't remember. I think I finally got rid of. I think I got rid of it. Donated it to Goodwill. Um, my C plus plus for dummies book that I had since like seventh grade or something like that. Sixth grade. Seventh grade, I think. Yeah, I think seventh grade I had a had a Blitz basic book about game programming, and then um, my sequel was for Dummies book came shortly after that. Is there a reason why I didn't have this like explored? Weird. All right, I'm gonna keep going this way though, because I'm pretty sure. I think all the way to the right here is the path over to where the gardeny area is. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's blocked off, like where the witch was. Okay, so the question is, do I go all the way to the right to go to the witch, or do I drop down one, go to the right, drop down a bunch to go see what that celery looking type thing is? I guess that it would make the most sense to go check out the dead witch area. Whoa, hello. Oh god. Uh, repelled. Very well, I shall use my most powerful weapon. The ladle of justice. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, I bet you it's a shield that you probably had to kill by uh, using this. I want to. I want to beat this boss with the spoon. I've decided. As stupid as it is, I, I want to beat at least one boss or fight like this where you're locked in, at least with with the spoon. This might not be the best one to do, though. <laughs> Clearly, I should just do the final boss with the spoon. But this is letting me kind of observe the uh, the effects, though. Like, hitting it with the spoon seems to be increasing that yellow bar a lot, which I assume is a stun gauge of some kind. Maybe I should use the heavy thrust. so silly. 
Are they healing? At all? Can't tell. Alright, we are now in a bad time. Because there's no way that we're winning this fight. Unless I become, like, a god at this game all of a sudden. Can I block these? No. I mean, I've only- I've almost got this one down. Yep, I saw it. Alright, maybe- maybe the spoon isn't the best idea here. What about the chain mace? Let's try to mix things up a little bit. I think I still prefer the Sword of Judgment. This is this is neat looking though. But uh definitely significantly easier using a real weapon. As opposed to a spoon. Speaking of spoons, I really need to buy a ladle. I know this random and like kind of doesn't have anything to do with anything. Oh, can I can I hit you now? Nope. All right. Still want to beat you. How about now? There we go. The explosions. But I don't have a ladle. I know that's like random. But I just, I, I don't have a ladle in my house, so I need to get one so it's easier for me to spoon curry into things. Because last night I just used like a, um, one of my measuring cups to do it. <laughs> Alright, that was alright. I'm going to keep using the Sword of Judgment though. Also, I should probably save now that I've done that. What do you think Sister Fran thinks? Like, seeing Sister Simella just constantly die forward like that? Reminds me of Mega 64. Does this go anywhere? Also, oh, uh, we're near the, um, we're near the slug, aren't we? That's, that's around here somewhere. I think she's one above the save point. I, I don't know if I bought everything from her. We have some coin, so hold on. I'm gonna backtrack real quick. Right, the slug's right here. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that came on very suddenly. Um, what do we got? I have three, so I could get, um, let's get this one, this one sounds relatively useful. Talk. Um, okay, so he's just happy about the bead. Bye! I really, sorry, I, I just really want to know. It's going to bother me unless I go check it out. Okay, I should be able to get to it quickly by going through here. The path down here that is like semi-blocked off, I, I just really want to know. Just in case, like... You know, going, uh... Going through the which area is gonna drop me back somewhere where we can't progress back here or something, you know? So, what is, what is over here? Is there a locked door? Oh, I couldn't get up here before! Right! 
Ooh, the secret thing is going off. It's a bath? What? Oh shit. Terms of service violation. Just kidding. Cyberpunk has sex. I'm pretty sure this is fine. This water feels nice. What a strange sensation, isn't it? I don't recall ever feeling something like this. We could relax here for a bit longer before heading back. It would do some good for our bodies, I'm sure. Sister Samilla, I wonder. Have we changed? Have I changed? You and I have been through a lot so far. It made me think, what is our role in all this? When we first got here, I thought the cathedral had a familiar air to me. The hallways reminded me of older memories of the convent I went to. I played the piano on Sundays. It was my granddad who taught me. Those were better days. What I've seen here is nothing like my memories. In the end. Princess Amelia was right. Hope is slowly fading away. All this will pass, right? I pray it will soon. Meanwhile, I just smile and nod. Fran and Samilla enjoyed themselves in the hot springs. Splashing water about regular beach episode type deal. Alright, there's something special here. What? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. There's a whole area back here. Well, this is worth going to. Is there a save point over here or anything? Because I feel like they're going to throw a boss at me. Really pretty garden, though. Whoa. Plus 900 experience. Wow. I mean, that's nice. Really pretty, too. Huh. Surprised they didn't throw any bosses at me, though. messed it up cool so that was worth going to if you need if like resting there gave you an item or uh, like a new spell or something but I think it I think it did heal me so that that's worth it Um, we're here, right? Oh, this is her, Sister Olivia. This, this is the note. Like she's the one who wrote those notes about not really wanting to uh, murder witches anymore. It's always fun to piece these things together. It's weird though. I want to. Whoa, jeez. What did I just do there? Okay. So. Let's go, let's see if we can get into the castle, I guess. Um, looking at the time. Two hours so far on the uh, on the stream. I was thinking about possibly doing a World of War run tonight, but I'm not sure. I was also thinking that the start of the castle 
might be a good place to stop, which is right here. Because we did a lot. We got through, um... Got through like the whole prison section, which is pretty nice. Only died a few times. So, no big boss though or anything, which is kind of sad. But I have to imagine that this this castle section is going to be pretty big, so I feel like it's probably best to save it for another day. Um, so I think I'm going to take a break and maybe get some tea. If I played Ward of Horror, I'd have enough for like one maybe two runs so I think I'm, I'm I think I'm not gonna do it so that's it for today um, thanks for hanging out and watching appreciate you guys coming by um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the little bits of lore that we got here and seeing the mace and spoon so have a good rest of your day or night whatever it is wherever you are and I will catch you all next time. Probably tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm I dropped Urai Sakai Sakai picnic. I don't I didn't really care for it that much, so I now have more time on my Mondays. So we'll see. Anyway, bye everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.